Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day two of making, figuring out what to do with all these white spaces. This one I obviously used a little bit of washi for. If you want to see, I did four different ways of doing it on Friday. I'm going to try to finish up my list today. I, I still have a whole lot of, of ways of doing this. So I guess I, this is kind of a series of you know, what to do with white pages. So this one I started, I didn't quite finish it. Um, I'm, what I'm gonna do is trim it down. I cut this page a little bit bigger than I needed it to be. So before I finish doing any more work with it, I'm going to cut it down to size. And I'm trying to very hard not to cut the actual page I'm sticking it to because I really like the, I like it where it is. Okay, but I made it a little bit too tall and a little bit too wide. And mostly I did that because I was thinking my pages are eight and a half by five and a half, but I really don't want this to be all the way over to the corner. You notice I've done this. I put my, I used my, my masking tape to do that. I forgot to turn my camera on. I was got to work on it. And so I did that, but I, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, gluing this down. And I made a pocket. So that was white space. You can see the white space down there. In fact, the glue did not hold very well. So I become, mostly because I wasn't sure what I was doing. This is, I'm not putting this down as a, um, I don't want to cover it entirely. Although I could, I mean, that's certainly another option is to cover it entirely. with another page or a piece out of a magazine or a book page or something else. You could absolutely cover this up with something else entirely. And I have chosen to make it a very large pocket. So that's number one. You can stick two together or you can make a pocket out of it. So there's that one. Let me cover up this. All right. Let's talk about put uh, stamping it. I got all my stuff out here to stamp it. I got I have my acrylic blocks. I got a bunch of stamps here. So let's see where there are some places where we could put stamps. I'm gonna find some of those white pages. We're gonna big white page right here. Okay. Um, I like the globe here. This is Africa. There's the Sahara. A little bit of Europe. Um, so let's use the globe. Urgh, it's very sticky. I haven't used these yet. I want a bigger one. Um, these are, actually, let me go on this side. And then make sure I get it in the right orientation. I like my norths at the top and, you know, my souths at the bottom. So do I have that? So... Yeah, more or less. There we go. Now we're good. North is at the top, south is at the bottom. Timber. There it is. I want my Distress Oxide Scorched Timber. And it's a brand new stamp, so it may take a bit to get ink onto it. Hard to see. There we go. I think we're cooking. Okay, let's see if that's going to do it. Yep. That'll do it. All right, so let's go ahead. Now I know what it's going to look like. And I'm going to put my globe down here, making sure I get my north in generally the right direction anyway. So when you're dealing with these white pages, there we go. I like how that came out. Okay. That was with uh, scorched timber. I think I may have said scorched earth. I don't mean scorched earth. I am not scorching the earth. Please no. I like to live here. Um, all right. So you can stamp it. Now, I have a bunch of other stamps here. And I kind of wanted to do this one. Because this is from... 
This one came from, the one I just did was a Recollections uh, clear stamps that came from Michael's. This one came from the dollar store. Um, and obviously I haven't opened it yet or used it, but I want the little jalopy. Come here, jalopy. I want the jalopy. Come on. They're very sticky because they have not been used yet. So we've got very, very sticky stamps. Oh, come on. Ruff. There we go. The jalopy is mine. Okay, we'll put the jalopy there. And uh, let's do this one. Well, the old jalopies were always only black, right? That was uh, Henry Ford. He can, you can have any Model T that you want, any color you want, as long as it's black. So we're going to do this with black. I'm using CraftSmart dye ink pad. I need to get a re-inker. I need to find some way to... Because I'm getting ink everywhere but where I think I want it. Let me test, test it. See if it's coming out okay. It is. Okay. Get all the ink down here. And I'm going to put the jalopy kind of up here. I have a spot that's not quite connecting, so I'm going to slide my fingers underneath and push that paper right up onto it. There we go. Okay, oh, we have a frame because, you know, I was pushing so much with the other stuff. All right, that's all right. We can work with that. So I have this here that says road trip. So we're going to stick road trip on it as well. Let's get it nice and straight. I find that, it, I mean, it really doesn't really matter how it goes on the acrylic block. It just, for my mind, it's easier to do it if I have it um, level and even and all that lined up stuff. Okay, I'm going to check it again because this is a new stamp. I want to know what it looks like before I stick it on there. I like it. I really kind of like it a lot. Road trip. All right. So you can stamp on your pages. That's three different stamps I used there. We'll put those all over there and get them out of my way. Stamping. Page here. What can we do with a collage on here? So I think I have some writing here. I just want to do a little one down in the corner or maybe, or maybe, you know, that's just a little, it's a hidden paper clip kind of thing. You could always just stick a hidden paper clip on it. There you go. And then just to make it, you know, a little bit older. I could rip the edge, but I, I don't, I don't know. I may yet, but I'm, right now I'm just going to ink the edge. So another thing to do with white pages is nothing. You can pretty, you know, I'm inking the edge. I'm leaving the page mostly white. And then I don't know where, where it is. I'm losing my, where I've got stuff. And then just put a little something over the top of it. I have a top. I should probably put it on the ink. Okay, I have a page that's trying to go AWOL. There we go. So I may just leave that. Now this page may look like it is blank, but it is not. It actually does have a really lacy pattern on it. I don't want to put anything over the lacy pattern. I let people write over the top of that one. So we'll put that there. I may throw a pocket in here yet. Who knows? But we'll leave it like that for now. So let's find... Where's some of that other stuff that I just had? 
I think I want to keep that and this as um, pockets, things to go in the pockets. So we're going to save those. I have another little ticket thingy here. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. Apparently this is something that I had from a while back. It's a pocket. With a ship on it. But it's... I'm very confused. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 okay. It's a coin thing, I think. And then this end also comes in... And you, okay, I see how this piece works. Okay, we'll put that together later, and that will also go into a pocket somewhere. That'll be fun to play with. Okay, we're going to leave that there. What else have we got? I like that piece. I don't know. We're, I'm, I'm, oh, my top is off my ink. I am just a little bit all over the place here. Put a sticker on it. That's one of my other options here, is to put a sticker on it. Um, this is another option, but I'm kind of liking this for the tie around the whole thing. So I'm not so sure that I'm going to use this for anything other than the tie inside. This is another option, is to simply cover it with lined paper. And that may yet happen. Well, in fact, let's go ahead and put that down. I am going to, real quick, come on. Okay, I have to I have to clean up some of this stuff because I, I'll pause. I'm going to clean up some of the stuff I can't work in this kind of, it's making me antsy. I'll be right back. I'm back, and um, I apologize for that. I have not had... An anxiety attack um, on camera before that was that was new to me the the desk was just so full of everything I think that's part of what it was um, they're also mowing across the street on a day when they generally don't mow the park gets mown twice a week on Tuesdays and on Thursdays and so I make sure I don't film on those days because I know that the mower is going to be going over there for whatever reason, they're not mowing. They did not mow earlier this week. They're mowing today, so I, my anxiety level went up, and I I, I do apologize. Um, anyway, moving on. We've got a normalized mental illness, right? And I I have anxiety. We we move on. I'm better now. So this is a sticker that I found and I put down over here because that's another one of the choices. You can put a sticker on a blank page. Now this isn't one of my white pages, but it is a big blank page and so it needs something it needs to, to, do, to do with it. I also have a couple of these that need something done, but we're, today we are primarily sticking on white pages. What do we need to do? I've got another white page here. So um, one of the other things that you can do with a white page, and I have, well, let's see, do I, did I leave one that I could do it with? Nope, I may not have. But you can print something. Use your printer to print on the back of something. I didn't leave one here that I could print on. Um, but that's an option, is to print. I have, I have uh, journals in the past that I've printed all lines on. I just went into Microsoft Word and made myself a document that is just simply lined two columns with lines. And so when you print it, it just comes out as lined paper like this, but not as pretty. But anyway, that's an option for uh, doing something with white pages. Just print a design on it, put a sticker on it. Um, we put we kind of I was talking about collaging it and that's kind of where I started to lose it a little bit and I do apologize again for that but I'm going to use this is a very wide washi that I got at one point and I really like it um, it says it's theoretically the world I don't want all of the world though at this point um, I'll take it just to Oceana or just ocean, ocean Atlantic. Oh, come on, I didn't quite get it. Ah, there we go. 
And I'm not going to put glue on the back of this one because this is pretty sticky. I'm just going to put it right down here. Oh, blast it. Did you ever have one of those days? This is it. This is one of those days. Okay, so it came out a little wrinkled. Sue me. <laughs> okay, so I got a little washy here. And um, what else? I'm looking at my washies. Is there something else I want to do as far as the collage goes with the washi? Um, maybe we'll throw a little ticket in there. And this one I can cut a little bit differently. Uh, let me grab my scissors. And I'm going to cut right at the edge of the yellow. And I'm going to come back over here where I kind of wrinkled the edge and I'm going to cut that off. And um, yes, that's going on my page. Just adds another layer. And then I'm going to put my ticket over some of my wrinkles. There we go. So I have a ticket in there. Is there anything else I want out of here? Um, I don't think so. Wow, I have some really, really thin. That would, would have been nice for the sectioning is to use that really, really thin washi. But I think I'll leave it for now. Although I've got it there and I'm going to come back to it. So I have all of this. I have these. Nope, I don't want anything out of there. Don't want anything out of there. Let's see what I got out of here. If that's too big. Got this nice little set of tickets. Ooh, you know what? That might be kind of nice. If I put it, it could be a tuck spot. Just tuck a little something in there. Because that's really thick. This was uh, Happy Mail at one point, and I'm sorry. I don't remember who gave it to me. Just a little bit of, of, tuck, of a tuck spot. I think we're going to do that in there. So let me get my Fabri-Tac. It's very, very thick. But I think that will work to its advantage. And so whoever it was sewed around the edge. So we're just going to go there and there. We're going to put that there as a tuck spot. Now I do have this empty space up here, and I think that would be really a nice spot for um, maybe some, let me go through here, what do I got? Something that looks more, looks older, I want something older. I have, oh the balloon. There we go. We'll stick the balloon up there. The hot air balloon. Let's grab my hot air balloon. Come on. Again, these are brand new. Haven't used them yet. I'm going to stick our hot air balloon right up there. Grab a little thingamabob. And... We're going to go with Scorched Timber again. I want to test it to make sure it's going to work. Okay, that's blotting a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. blotched. Scorched Timber, you haven't been blotching on me. Why are you blotching now? Okay. Well, you know what? We'll get out the colored pencils and we'll color that in a little bit and then we won't have to worry about it. And here come, I'm going to have to stop 
because that lawnmower is coming way too close. All right, I'm going to pause for now and I will come back and do my exit in a bit. We are back and the lawnmower is gone. Oh, my anxiety level went right down with that noise gone. I think part of that, my problem was all that noise. Um, so I added a little bit to this little collage and that does make a nice little tuck spot so I could put, you know, a nice little something in there that'll be fun to put, stick in there. Um, so I finished that off while I was waiting for him to go away. And I have one more white page here that I want to definitely do something with. Actually, I think I, have, I might have two more white pages, but we're going to only deal with this one for right now. Uh, oops, I grabbed more than I need. All I want is this page. Thank you. Sorry guys, you guys have to wait. Wait your turn. So on this side we did the road trip and then it will flip open and then flip open. So I still have to do something on here but I don't know what I want to do there yet. Um, but here I know what I'm going to do. I went through my stamps and I pulled out all of these really cool stamps. These are all in browns. These are all old from the 20s, 30s, 40s. Um, they were stamps that my mom had. She got them as part of uh, Captain Tim's Ivory Snow Adventure, I think was the name of it. You sent in Ivory Snow wrappers and you got stamps. And I looked them up. There's nothing here. I think the most expensive one, the one that, that would actually get net me the most money, is 28 cents. So, you know, they're not, real, they're not worth anything. But they're from all over the place. And so, let's see. Let's put this one on. This is a 10 cent or 10 whatever from a 10 Corona. Okay, you're going to have to tell me who has the Corona. I think I should know this one. I want to say Poland, but I don't think I'm, I don't know. So I'm over here on my glue book. I'm going to bring my glue book in a little bit. And I'm going to kind of offset that a little bit. Actually, I think what might be easier to do is to do, you know, I need to have a glue page under here. Let me grab a glue page. And not that one because that's already pretty messy. Let me fold that one in half. Okay, you know, nothing like being prepared. That I, mower really got me off, and I apologize. I probably shouldn't have even tried to film because it was getting me off. Okay, so we're going to put a little glue down here, a little glue on there, and we're just going to start putting these guys down here as we see them. Uh, this one, I don't know where that, that one says... Um, Postal Union Congress London, so it's a three half pence. I don't know which king that is on there. This is from France. I know, putting English and French right next to each other. What am I thinking? This is Jamaica. I didn't even know Jamaica had their own stamps. Or maybe it's just an English stamp. It's one and a half D, whatever one and a half D is. Okay, there's not quite enough glue down there. We'll stick that down there. And we're just going to go down along the side. This one is uh, one Anna. India. This one's from India. I want Jamaica to show there. Or at least much of it. And I want India to show there. Probably should have put the Indian stamp with the India, right? This one is Mexico. Some of the ink is coming off of India there. Who's this one? This is the Republic... It's one centavo, so this might also be Mexican, which is fine with me. That one was five. This one is one. What do we else have here? This one is really faded. It says Filipinas. I'm 
we're just going to edge the whole length of this with the ones that I have here. This one is another one from India. A little more pink there. I don't want to cover that one up so much. So I guess we'll just do this. Kind of put that one straight on. We haven't put too many of them straight on. Ecuador. Ecuador for the bottom. Okay. Now I got a little bit pulling up here, so let's put a little more ink down there. Or a little more. Come on, stay put. You just you want to slide all over the place here, half Anna. All right, I do have a few extras here. Um, this one is from South Africa, so I could do something more. Let's put it in the book and see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit. I need to move that because that's really gluey now. I'll slide you in. No, I think I've got you in the wrong spot. Because, oh shoot, you see how those pages came out and they goofed up my order. All right, let me pause while I, go while I put my order back together again. I'm back, I found its spot. So, I'm gonna grab all of the pages here. So now when you turn it, it's a somewhat shorter page. I'm okay with those hanging out. In fact, we may put a tab or something up there, but I really like how that looks. What I might do, or not what I might do, what I will do just to kind of fancy it up a little bit on the side and give it a little balance, put a little bit of that just along the side. Not the whole thing, just enough to, so that when you turn the page, there, it's kind of got a bit of a balance to it. All right. I think I am out of time for today. I will check my list. Um, I said edge it. I've got with lace or with squares. Instead, I used postage stamps, but edging it with anything is really a good way of doing it. It cuts down on the, num on the amount of white space, but it still gives you lots of room to write or draw or sketch. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, as weird as they are, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to know that YouTube knows that you like them. Um, yeah, till later, this is Cindy signing off.